Let's take our example image, click on it, go to crop, but don't press it directly, go to this side drop down. And here we have the shape preset, the mask it with. So I'll go for the oval or circle preset. And you can see it's done all the rest of the work for us. But it's worth keeping in mind that the mask can only apply to the original shape of the image. So what I mean is this is the original image where it's not perfectly square. You can see it's a bit taller. So I do the same thing on this one. You can see that the circular mask doesn't quite work. It's a bit misshapen because it's not an equal size in the length and height. So what you might want to do is crop this to a square shape first. So I'm going to undo this and then you can just go on the actual crop tool and then you can just crop it so that it's actually more of an equal square shape, something like that. If you want something to guide the actual cropping, what you could do is just make an actual square, double click. So this is going to be an equal height and width by default. Put it over your image like this. It should snap to the image and then drag it over. Make sure the hold down shift so it stays the same shape as you scale it. Do this. I'm just going to do a really rough crop and then select your original image underneath. Go to crop and then just crop it based on the size of the square. It should lock to the shape as you can see and then press enter delete your guide square and now we have a perfectly square rectangle so I'm going to go and apply my circle and there we go.